Hello, welcome to the channel. Here we got to put in storm drains, eight inch SDR 35 pipe. So this is the process we use to get it done. Our blueprints call for a placement four foot out from the building. This is where we start at the inlet where it's gonna to flow to. These kind of jobs are where the little machines you own come into play big time. Mini excavator, skid steer. This is your bread and butter if you got small machines like that to work with. You can see Ricardo here cutting a good looking ditch. Now we're cutting that to grade. We'll show you how to do that in just a second. Here you can see the ditch is cut. You're looking at the stabilizer sand already put in as we move on down here. You'll see we're right here. You'll look back to the left. You'll see the inlet. There you go. Look at that sharp ditch. If you look down there, look at there. Already got the hole busted in it. That's a good looking hole knocked in there. Okay, let's install some pipe. Here you can see Cello marking out the length he need. Gonna take it. Here we got the saw going at it. Got Raphael holding it, spinning it, helping the man out on the saw. And there you can see we got a clean cut. Now the SDR pipe on the plane in as they call it comes with a 45 bevel that's to help slide it in so when you cut the pipe you have to put that 45 bevel back in there now there are special drills with cutters that do it but most people just take the saw and do it just like we're doing here okay you can see here we got some installed so let's take a look at it walk down the lane here look all nice and neat now you want to turn the writing up Make sure you turn the writing up and a little bit later on, we'll show you why that's really important. Go down here, see here's the next drain coming in. Got the Y pointing in the right direction. Let's freeze right here. We have the pipe laser set here at this spot for a specific reason. This is where our lowest spot is as you look at that right here. So this is where the water's gonna drain. From here up the pipe is a positive drain. So the laser must go up. So by setting the laser at the degree that is given on the blueprint, you get out your story pole and you start going. Now you put two marks on the story pole. One is the grade, that's what he's checking right there. The other mark is the top of the stabilizer sand. So as long as you're digging your man in the trench is showing you that, and you're checking your grade and you're keeping it on level, you're gonna get your pipe at the right degree. Go back. Put your stabilizer in, keeping it on level, and you're gonna have a nice looking job that's gonna flow. Okay, see Rock Fiel's checking the grade right there. See the laser hitting that piece of tape? That's letting him know. Just a plain old stick with two pieces of duct tape wrapped around it. Right there, it was three inches off. So he's showing him it's gotta go down three more inches right there to keep the consistent of the six inches and to keep your ditch on slope. The ditch is right, now it's time to put in your sea sand or stabilizer sand. So you got the man in the ditch, you just sprinkle it down. Here you do a little bit of hand work. It's just sand, it's not hard to move around if you get on it and get it done. You're getting it smoothed out, and then you're going to check grade. So he gets the same pole. Here's where the sacket tape come in. Look at that, right on grade. That's what you're looking for right there. And you go on, kind of smooth it out, take your foot, move it around, grab the come along. Now with the come along going, just keep smoothing it around. Get it all looking nice and neat so you got a good looking job. Always checking yourself, always checking yourself. Now that you got the bottom looking good, check your grade, bam! And there it is, look, right on grade. You ready to move on now? Check it again, bam! Got it again. Looking back at the progress being made, you can see it all in there. There's that laser down there doing what it's supposed to be doing. Looking good. Okay, come on over here. Go and install some more pipe. Okay, that's not glue, that's pipe dope. It helps it slick it up, help it slide up on there, helps it seal. Now you're gonna see when they're getting it on there, make sure everything was clean. And right here you see why they call it push pipe. Get you a six foot long wrecking bar and start pushing. It'll go on up there. Earlier I spoke about turning your writing up. This is why. Now this is back filled with stabilizer sand. That you see down the center, if you look real closely, that's the writing. We are ready for inspection. Now the reason we backfill it like this, if we get any rain overnight and this didn't have something on it, it would float up and all your work would be destroyed. 
This way, the inspector can see every joint, he can see every writing, he knows the material, he knows what he's looking at. If he has any question, you just grab a shovel and dig out where he questions. But when it looks this good, you don't have trouble. You know, he knows. He knows you know what you're doing when it looks like this. Okay, we done passed inspection. We backfilled it with stabilizer sand. You can see where the driving over it fell in. That ain't the stabilizer sand. It looks all nice and neat. Old job turned out good. Now it's ready to put dirt on it. You can pack the dirt down. And that's how we did it. That's how we install it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like for everybody to hit the like and subscribe button. And we will keep them coming.